We've been telling you she's out now after that testimony. Let's talk a little bit more about the resignation today of the Secret Service Director Kim Cheadle. After that hearing, you had Democrats and you had Republicans calling for her to step down 10 days after the attempted assassination of former President Trump. Now, Pennsylvania Congressman Dan Muser, as you probably know by now, was at that Trump rally in Butler, PA, and joins us now, I think right from your office. And I, I said a moment ago you were supposed to be at the Cannon Rotunda, but uh, the protesters yeah. have taken that over for now. So you're in your, in your office in the Capitol. Reaction, uh, Congressman, when you heard that um, Cheadle resigned? Well, I uh, knew she needed to. Um, I reserved my comments on whether or not she should resign until I watched the hearing yesterday. And halfway through it, I felt it was, and I watched the rest of it, but I felt it was a disgrace. I felt she was not prepared. Uh, she was evasive. Uh, and she really had no answers uh, that she should have had. And, and then when she admitted she hadn't even bothered to go up to Butler and get an understanding of the, uh, of the environment and the situation so she could see where the failures were. I mean, this wasn't two or three days later. Right. Uh, this was 10 days later. So she really just doesn't understand the seriousness of, of her job, apparently. And I'll just add, Connell, that, look, I mean, she was, the leadership was poor, the preparation was poor, the lack of seriousness, frankly, the lack of micromanagement. And she spoke of these layers and layers and layers in an 8,000 person organization, the secret service of bureaucracy. I mean, you know, that, that you're not gonna get any accountability or responsibility when you got all these layers. She, she couldn't even point to where the layers started and, and ended. No, uh, there were no answers. It was, it was, I could see the frustration from members, again, on both sides, Democrats, Republicans, everybody was frustrated yeah. yesterday. You know, the, you mentioned the not going to Butler. There was a delegation from Congressman up there yesterday, and we had a reporter there. He said, you know, some of the members got up on the roof, you know, to speak about yeah. this whole idea of a slanted roof and that kind of thing. They were, they were standing up on the roof. So that, if she went there, she probably would have known that some, I guess, some, someone should have been up there, you know? Absolutely. Uh, look, I, I was there, as you mentioned. Yeah. I saw that building. Um, you know, for whatever reason, when I go to these events, I do look around and, and care about the level of security. I spoke with a lot of Homeland Security folks, uh, local police, state troopers. Um, look, they were, they, 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 obviously, there wasn't the right strategic plan that needs to come from the Secret Service. And um, clearly, it wasn't being followed anywhere near enough where you have an open roof like that with, with agents inside the building, not right. on the roof, inside yeah, the, the building. Yeah, second floor. We had, uh, uh, none of it seems to make any sense uh, to anybody right. who's, who's looked at it, whether right. they're experienced or not. Um, OK, let me talk. Since last time you were on, obviously, the, the, the actual race for president has changed. You know, uh, Kamala Harris now looks like almost definitely will be at the top of the Democratic ticket and take on. President Trump. So earlier we showed her rally in Wisconsin. So we talked about Wisconsin, but your state is obviously an important state. It's probably the most important, Pennsylvania. So mm -hmm. let me play a clip from our show yesterday. We had Connor Lamb on, who used to be a Democratic congressman, making the argument for how Harris could win in Pennsylvania, where Trump has been leading. Here's what he said. Sure. And the reason I think that she can win is because it, it just always made such an impression on me in these areas where people were voting for Trump how much they really didn't like him deep down. And, and you could just get this feeling like they wish they could be for some, someone else. What would you say that, uh, to that, Congressman? Persuadable voters, not really as committed to, to Trump, he doesn't think. Yeah, well, they might not like his personality so much, but they did like the results of his policies. And uh, there's a lot of uh, what I refer to in the past as Biden buyer remorse and in Pennsylvania. Uh, because of inflation, because of the energy policy, because of the open borders. And Kamala Harris owns that. And look, we, we plan on having a campaign about policy, about closing the border, uh, about uh, fiscal responsibility, about pro-growth initiatives, about clean energy and responsible drilling mm -hmm. in, in Pennsylvania, you know, be, ha taking leadership in anti-crime measures where you know, frankly, Kamala Harris uh, was was not on the on the right side of right what side if, of crime. What if? The Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.